Megan speaks, but will you listen? Well, that's the plan at least. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you as ever. Thank you so much for joining me. By the way, can we just give a quick mention to a lovely lady who we've sadly lost? We're doing a lot of this at the moment, sadly, aren't we? Hayden Gwen, a wonderful actress who I got to meet many years ago when she was starring in a wonderful musical called City of Angels at the Prince of Wales Theatre. Really down-to-earth lady. Very funny, actually. Just very, very kind, sweet. You know, I was busy working in theatre at the time. She gave me a lot of encouragement and uh, just was one of those people that you know was a big star didn't need to be that encouraging but was but for many people around the world they may have seen her in a big comedy called drop the dead donkey took a wonderful part in that but more recently was starring in the windsors uh, as camilla now what was interesting here is she told me this a while back that whenever camilla was at an event or she was at an event bosses didn't want her to meet her because they didn't want that picture of you know camilla meets camilla but according to a very well-placed source queen camilla knew about him sort of characterization in the Windsors thought it was hilarious you know didn't really see a problem with it and as I said to Hayden if you'd met her you'd realize wouldn't you that obviously she would understand it but she took on a brilliant part and as I say very sadly at a very young age in fact only 66 years old uh, she succumbed uh, to a terrible illness that we don't need to mention and was more recently set to star on the West End stage in a revival a wonderful celebration tribute to Stephen Sondheim what a sad loss. If you haven't seen any of her work, do try and check it out on YouTube because she deserves honestly reviewing and hopefully there will be a wonderful memorial in the sort of coming months, etc. Sad loss though. Back as ever to your breaking role story of the day. Yes, Megan speaks, but will you listen? Now this is the plan, you see. As we saw recently over at the Kevin Costner event, there's no microphone that Megan won't wrestle to the ground to give one of her impromptu speeches. She loves a speech, doesn't she? Doesn't matter what it's about she can turn a phrase at any opportunity to let you know what she thinks you know and it's strange isn't it I don't know if you noticed out in New York City uh, when they were out there for the mental health Archwell Foundation thing how bored and sort of disinterested Prince Harry looked do you remember at the very start of it he sort of said oh thanks for letting me speak first well you know you've known this event's been coming buck up Buster and learn the script I mean you could see that Megan was slightly frustrated at this not for her of course her microphone was ready she was ready to give those moments of clarity. Now, according to that very well-placed source, Megan, you see, has been inspired by the likes of female British prime ministers, in fact, and the likes of Hillary Clinton, who have made colossal amounts of money by going to corporate speaking. Now, Megan, as many people may know, is already already on, shall we say, a corporate speaking uh, company that so far have yet to come up with any goods. I would suggest that this is because it's quite costly to hire Meghan Markle. And what topic would she talk about other than herself? You see, British Prime Minister ministers like Theresa May uh, and of course Margaret Thatcher in a day did incredibly well because it achieved the excellence of power running a country something to talk about meeting world leaders what's Meghan going to talk about Harry juggling limes at the back door the 40 times 40 that went nowhere and the alleged thing that she did when she was a kid about washing up for women you know you have to have some substance if you're going to command a massive corporate fee However, in the world of Meghan, as many people know, this is never truly something of a problem. And in Meghan's world, <laughs> you know what's coming, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets, and her team are going to be looking at the corporate companies that might need a little bit of <coughs> Hollywood glamour at their corporate event, perhaps even as a hostess, picking up somewhere in the region of 35 to 70,000 pounds for the privilege. It is a developing story, and as ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.